Hi, Izzy here, and today I want to talk to you about three body types. So I have a very accurate picture description of these three body types. Type A, you can see, is the very skinny person. B is the medium balanced build, and C is the heavier person. So let's talk a little bit more about these. Type A is that friend that we kind of get a little jealous of. They have that body type that we're just like, oh, I wish life was that easy. <laughs> and then B is that more athletic friend who can go to the gym just a little bit during the week and they seem to have really great results and they get results quick and they like to share their results. Type B is the one who feels like, or type C is the one who feels like no matter what they do, they just can't lose weight. They feel like they try everything that A and B is recommending and it doesn't work for them. And that's because it won't. Type C is the one who struggles. Type C is the one that feels like they could just smell a cupcake and gain weight. Now, each one of these body types are different. They're going to be different in how they process food, so how they use the food as fuel, and it's going to be different how they exercise. Now, my theory on this is it's all about the mindset. Type A is the person who might run a lot, and so it gives everyone else the image that if you run, you're going to be skinny like this person. But really, it's this person's a little bit more high strung. This person's in their head a lot and running works well for them because they can run out all of that energy that's pent up in their mind. It's not that running works for everyone. It's that running works well for this person. Now, I'm not saying that running won't work for these other people too, but for this particular person, that works really well. And again, it gives everyone else the illusion that running is going to make you look like that person. Type B is typically the person that's doing a little bit more weights or group fitness, and they just naturally have this bodybuilder's like body. They are a little bit more balanced in their mind as well, so they don't get as stressed out, or at least they avoid it to a certain degree. So they're really good at balancing in their life how their mind works and reacts to things. They are the ones who we go to because most likely they're your personal trainer or they're the one on the cover and we think, oh, if only I could look like that person. Oh, I'm following all their fitness trends. Oh, this diet worked for them. They get quick results because they're in balance. So if they go a little out of balance, they come back into balance pretty quickly. Now type C, most likely you're the one watching this video. I am or was a type C. So this can change. Your body type can change depending on how your mind works. And so type C is the person who keeps trying to do everything that type A and type B people are doing and it's not working because a routine easily works for type A and B. Now type C, we need a lot of structure because it takes a lot of planning because you need to be cycling. And the reason why, not biking, which that would work too, but the reason being is because you adapt so quickly. Now, most likely type C, you are the person that holds all your stress in, that you don't tend to get overly outward stressed. So if a stressful situation happens, you keep calm, you don't react as much, and you keep all the stress right here. And so that is your stress, but your stress is also affecting the way you eat and how your body processes food. So you're the person that's going to need to do more meditation, mindful eating, and then maybe working on that food relationship as well, because how your mind is affected while you're eating is going to play a process in how the food is absorbed. 
I know that sounds a little intense and I actually have a whole course on that. So don't get too wrapped up in just that thought. I'll explain more later at an, in another video. But type C, what you need is muscle confusion and diet confusion. Now that can be good. That can be bad. It takes a lot of planning. So the way that I have found works best for me is a three day cycle. And so the first day, and I'll take this into carb cycling in another video as well. So the first day is no carbs. The second day is light carbs. And then the third day is your full version of carbs. So not full carbs, but just your full version. And I can help you measure that out if you need help with that too. So the same thing applies with exercise too. So you need a wide range of exercises, which is great because you're not going to get bored. You don't want to do the same exercise. You don't want every Monday is cardio. You don't want every Tuesday is weight training. But if you did, they would need to vary quite a bit. So every Monday for cardio, you're going to need to choose different things like a HIIT workout or running, elliptical, stair step. Each time it needs to be different. And then on Tuesday for weight training, maybe you mix it up. So maybe you're doing bands one day. Maybe you're doing the weights another day. Maybe you're doing kettlebell another day. And then you're switching up your body parts as well. Now, I know that sounds like a lot. But if you get a personal trainer or if you hang out with my YouTube channel, <laughs> you will figure all of this out. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and then also click that little bell so you'll get a notification when new videos come out. I'm going to go into a little bit further about how and what food choices we should make more into this exercise thing. And then of course, a whole video on just carb cycling, which anyone can use, but mainly it's going to be B and C that would use it. C really needs it. All right, I'm Izzy, figleaf.fit. I hope you have a great day.